Hi guys, and welcome back to another Ibracorp video. Been looking forward to seeing you this week. I hope you've been enjoying our videos of recent times, getting stuck into your servers, you know, all those good things, ignoring your family members, ignoring your friends, ignoring social lives, to keep going down the rabbit hole of Unraid and home labbing. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all of you when I say we spend quite a bit of time doing this stuff, so it only pays to actually enjoy it while you're doing it. As you know guys, this will probably be my last video for a few weeks. Uh, as I said in a previous video, my sons will be born in about two days. So I'll be off YouTube for just a couple of weeks to obviously pay attention to things that matter most. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much deeper. I answered all those questions in the Q&A video if you're interested. But this is just a reminder, just so you know what's going on. I like to communicate with you. So if you don't see me up on there, that's all that's happening. But you can keep chatting with me and the rest of our community in Discord. We won't be going anywhere. I'll pop in there all the time. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of late nights without any sleep. So that's where I'll probably be found. If you still want to come in and have a chat, you're more than welcome. Also want to take this opportunity just to thank everybody for all your support. I really appreciate it. I've noticed a fair few donations coming in and every cent has gone back into working on things at Ibracorp, getting a better website, our hosting, We've got, you know, videos planned and gives me more time to develop those ideas with our team. And those guys have been amazing in there. So a big thank you to everyone there. Thank you for our team leaders, our moderators, our Ibracorp team members, everyone. Thank you very much. Really appreciate everything you do for us here. So with that all out the way, today we're going to be looking at Weekend. Now Weekend is a Kanban board. Okay, it's open source and it allows a card-based task and to-do management. What does that mean? All right. Let's say you've watched 15, 20 of my videos and you, you don't even know where to start on what, you, what you're gonna do first for your server. I've given you so many great ideas that you just wanna do a million things. Well, it probably is hard to organize that with your time. Maybe you want a way to just lay it out so you can mentally see what you need to do. So this was introduced to me by this duck, one of our community leaders a, a little while back, and we've been using it to help with our video requests. So when stuff, so when people are requesting videos in our Discord, we are putting it in Weekend and then I can move stuff around and, and manage the request so that we can get to every request possible that we can. As you can see here, we'll have a read. Weekend allows you to create boards on which cards can be moved around between a number of columns. Boards can have many members allowing for easy collaboration and just add everyone that should be able to work with you on the board and you're good to go. So you basically create these cards, guys, and you fill it out with information. You can have team members come in there and everyone sort of works on it and they can all update stuff at the same time and keep it all up to date. So we're on their GitHub here. It's just weekend forward slash weekend. Weekend is distributed under the MIT license. So it allows anyone to work easily with it and modify it. It's perfect for anyone that needs a slick Kanban board but doesn't want to use third party services, which are out of the user control. I've said it a million times here at Ibracorp, we are massive supporters of open source software. So I always like to get behind developers who do this either as a passion project or just want to make it open source so that everyone's transparent on what's going on. It's all just a bunch of text at the moment, but I personally think you're going to get what I'm talking about if I show you what it looks like. So if it sounds interesting, if you want a way to manage your ideas, tasks, projects, whatever it might be, I reckon this is a great tool and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So stick around and let's get stuck into it. All right guys, so here we are. We are in our live weekend board. I've decided to give you guys a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what happens here at Ibracorp when we try to manage your requests. We do take your requests seriously and if you have any requests, jump in our Discord and use the video request channel and our team will uh, process that and we'll chuck it in here and get to it when we can. So obviously when we come up with ideas for videos, I don't like to personally, I, I don't like to just jump into it without any sort of knowledge. I take my time. I usually try to read up and, and research as much as I can if it's something that I've never done before. Um, and if it is something I've done before, then obviously I just start filling in the information. So what we're looking at here is my board. So this is the main page, I've just logged in. This is showing every board that we have. So you create a board and then in those boards, if I just go into one here, so let's say new video requests, here's a perfect example, all right? So we've got new ideas. 
So this is basically being used as like a header, so to speak, right? We've got new idea. So this is one section, then you've got a section underneath that and they match the same column. So we've got new ideas here. We've got things of interest to us. Then we've got choices for the next production, pre-production, in production, and then stuff that's been finished and put on YouTube. So let's say for today's video, for example, if I was to click that and we have a look, you can see how it's just shifted the screen around for me. And we've got a couple of details that we've pre-filled out here that we like to go in with. There's a few things that you can modify. Now, if I just go ahead and create one, so let's say someone's given us a good idea, we like it, we'll just click the plus here under new ideas. And in the name, this also supports markdown, which is pretty cool. So if I just go asterisk, asterisk, and we say test video, and click add. So you can see it's given us a title there and it's in bold. If we need to change it for, for whatever reason, we just click it and you can just change it there. Then you've got labels. So we can label it, we'll go plus, and you can see a whole bunch of labels that we've already made. You might need to create a new one, so just click create label. Create it, pick a color, and you'll have something like this. So then you can just basically pick, all right, this matches this, this, maybe a bit of that, you know, maybe even a bit of this, and it's in your video request list, okay? Then we put the date. We've received this request on this date, click save when we expect it to end, if that's the case, or when we finished it. We've got these custom fields here as well. So we've said, oh, what difficulty is it? You know, is it gonna be for a beginner user? Is it gonna be for an intermediate user? The expected length, who requested it? And a description of what it is. But you can change all this, it's all customizable. So if we go into the top menu here, you've got all these different options here. So if we go edit custom fields, here's those fields there. So you can go settings, and basically create a new one, you know, if you need to create a different one. And that just allows you to customize what it is you're looking for. So then in here, oh, sorry, go back here. So then back in the menu, we've got some other options. So you can go maximize card. At the moment, I personally don't feel like that that's working that well at the moment, but that's another option you have to make it easier to read. You've got an option there to actually copy the link to the card as well. So you can hyperlink that and go straight to the card if you wanted to and send that to someone so they can just jump straight into it. So then if we were to say, you know, we've got this new idea, we think it's interesting, this is how easy it is, we would just move it. Okay, then we would move it again when we're ready to the next swim lane, so to speak, and then over to pre-production and then into, pre into production. So these are the type of things that make it really easy to work with. And I think it's it's a really cool tool in that sense. And you can ha basically have as many boards and as many columns in these boards as you want. So you could have a whole different structure, you know? Um, let's say you had a board called Ibracorp videos. And in that board, you had ideas that I like. And then you might have one, ones I'm working on, or what I'm gonna do next, reverse proxy stuff, blah, 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 Unraid, Cloudflare, anything we've done, for example, right? Now, I'm not just promoting myself here, obviously, whatever task you wanna do, I'm just trying to give you an example because a lot of people tell me, oh, I'm so behind. I don't know where to keep up on all your videos. This is the tool for you. So back up here, we've got swim lanes. As you can see, we've got swim lanes selected Then you've got lists, swim lanes, and that adds that swim lane there in the top for the info. You've got search functions. You can filter stuff down, you know, by label or by person or by date, whatever. Advanced filters, you can also customize that too. If we were to go to the settings, we head to the admin panel. This is what that looks like here. So what I'm going to do at this point, guys, I've given you a quick snapshot to see what it looks like because I know that if we were to just start installing it, you may not even know what it is, so you might not be interested. So now that you kind of see what it looks like, we'll actually show you how to install it and set it up on Unraid, and that way you can have a play with it too. So if you want to follow along with us, that's cool. Um, we're basically going to jump into that now. Okay, here we are on Unraid in our Pumba server. God, I love Pumba. He's been there for us all the time, hasn't he, guys? He's pretty much taken a beating this server, let me tell you. But um, we're going to go with Pumba because it's pretty much, you know, empty and we can start fresh. So at the moment, we've got MongoDB there. And the reason we have MongoDB was because we were using Petio in our last video. So I don't think it's necessary for us to blow it away. I think that's just going to repeat something we've already done. But I'll show you what we did in the template at least. So what you do, just head to the App Store and then search for MongoDB. So we'll type in Mongo 
and there's a couple of different things that come up. What we want is this one here by Tadius repository. You'll get to the template, which looks like this. So unless you need to change anything here, you can pretty much just leave that as default. Click apply, start MongoDB up. All right, with MongoDB up, we've got our database. That's nice and ready to go. As I've said before, just remember that Unraid starts the containers from top to bottom, or Docker, I should say, from top to bottom of your screen when you restart your server or restart the Docker service. So that means things that usually depend on other things um, would be lower on the list and those dependencies would be up higher. So a database is typically your most common dependency because everything reads from a database. So you wanna have those up higher than anything else. So we've got MongoDB already up there. It's stopped at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is just start that container up. Now the next thing is gonna be optional to you. It depends on how you wanna do things um, in terms of having a share for your weekend stuff. If you wanna do that, it's worthwhile in the sense that if you start using a lot of images and loading them into Weekend, you'll probably want them saved somewhere so that that information can be easily managed in your data rather than hitting your app data location. So if we go to shares, you can create a share if you like, go add share. We can call that Weekend and obviously used for Weekend. We'll say, yeah, you can use the cache. it will give it a minimum of 50 gigabytes there. I'm happy with all that, click add share. So that's up to you what your personal preferences are. I always recommend you try to make sure you understand what these options are because a lot of people ask about them and you may get held up for quite a while in the future. Always remember in Unraid, thankfully you can just click on the heading like that and it'll give you a nice description of what the option does. If you don't know that, you can also hit the question mark at the top and that'll expand everything so that you can read what they all do. So with that share created, um, I'm not gonna worry about exporting it, but if you wanted to export it, you could. You can export it there. So we've got that share created and ready to go. Let's head back to the App Store and we'll pretty much just search Weekend. So there's Weekend there by CrewX's repository. So thank you CrewX for putting the work in here. Click to install and then we can start having a look at our option. So here's what our template for Weekend will look like. As you can see, the first field, we've got our local address that we want it to live off. Later on, when you're ready to reverse proxy, then we change that to the external address so that links inside of Weekend point the person to the external address. But for now, we leave it as the internal until we set it all up. We've got our mail URL, our SMTP. So if you have used SMTP before, if not, you wanna set up your own, just follow our Gmail video and that'll show you how to set one up with like a professional email that shows that it's coming from your domain. Cheap and easy way to do it up to you. So your email address, your password, the SMTP host, and the port that they run off. The mail from, so what alias are you using? Again, if you watched our Gmail video, I've explained that so you can have, you know, your own weekend at, you know, youruser.com, whatever your domain is. We've then punched in our share that we created. So if we go back here, there's that share that we created slash weekend, and it's ready to go. Underneath container port, we've got 5555. For the Mongo URL, we've got MongoDB, followed by the IP address of our server and the port of MongoDB, which by default is 27017. And right after that, we'll just put in DB just like that. Now, if we scroll up and we click on advanced view, you've got this option here that says hyphen hyphen link MongoDB DB. So what we're gonna do is actually just remove that. Once we're done, hit apply. So now you can see we've started that up again and with your left click, go to web UI. So here we are on the first page. Now you might get thrown off because you haven't actually created an account yet. All you need to do is click on register and then create your account. So let's say admin, we've got admin at Ibricorp, that's fine. And then our password and then hit register. Now for some reason there, it looked like it didn't actually submit the form. So we're gonna try to log in. And there you go, we're signed in. So straight off the bat, you've signed in. First thing you wanna do is head over to your settings. So click on your username there and go to the admin panel. In the admin panel, you can then disable self-registration. So that just stops people being able to register. If you want them to be able to register, obviously you can leave that, but I'd recommend you just change that as a first off option. Then you can invite people by email address. So you can just punch in their email addresses there, click invite, see you later, done. You then send a test email to make sure your emails work or your accounts, active announcements that you can set. 
the layout that you prefer and you know sort of theme things that you might enjoy so you can have your custom logos here your url schemes then you can add webhooks as well so it just depends on what you want to set up you can follow their documentation to do all that under people here you can add new people create teams create organizations just click new and then create them like that you can then also get reports so any sort of issues you've got files reports and the version that you're running as well so in a nutshell guys that's pretty much it in terms of installation it's ready to go it wasn't that hard we're in in about five minutes the part that you're going to enjoy doing is just sitting here customizing how you want your swim lanes to look so I've, that's why i decided to show you mine at the start just to help give you that view of what it looks like and how you might want it to look now we're in a board we can just click add board and we can call it ibricorp videos and you can again change it from private to public if you wanted it to and then click create so in here then you can create all sorts of swim lanes so we can say info swim lane up there then we create a new one called videos move info to the top in info we can then add a list and we can say ones i like click save this is where i put ones i i like click add then under the swim lanes for videos then we can actually put the link to the video for example so you can actually just put html links if you wanted to or whatever the case might be and then customize it you can add colors you know set your limits do you want to have a link so you can just put in a link for example search it somewhere else then we've created the entry so under the entry you can add your labels you can add who received it how you want it to look you know all those sort of things that i showed you at the start so guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed where you can it's a pretty cool tool it's really helpful if you're someone like me who's got a million things going on and you want a nice easy way to manage it um again big thanks to this duck for helping us reach this uh for helping us find this product he's uh, basically walked us through it and set it all up with us and it's been immensely helpful so i hope you enjoyed it i really look forward to seeing you guys again in a couple more weeks hang in there thank you for being a supporter of ibracorp i personally just appreciate every single one of you so thank you very much for this awesome ride i hope to see you again soon in the meantime come find us on discord we'd love to have you there and we'll see you in the next Ibracorp video.